What's good guys, welcome to Belmondo TV, it's your boy JC back again with another video guys Welcome to the, to the show <laughs> I'll be well, looking after yourselves guys Guys, here I am, pit stop I wanted to have a quick conversation about rebound relationships And it's quite shocking Because for me, from my experience, um hearing about rebound relationships i've heard a lot about it i I've, I've never quite understood it properly what it's about how it works and things like that so but i'll tell you one thing i had an amazing conversation yesterday what educational really telling like crazy a young lady who had been broken up with her boyfriend very very recently maybe a week i would say about a week um a week and a half right so we're sitting there having a conversation and um she's like um he was the one um bear in mind before that relationship she was in a long-term relationship with two kids Okay, so she was a long-term relationship with two kids and then she, that relationship was done and then she started dating, she left that relationship, she started dating this guy she was with for nine months. So during that period of nine months, she believed the guy was her soulmate, as you do. And he was going to be the one, the saving grace, um, the Lord, Lord of the Ring. You know, this is a conversation we're having because we're, we're joking. And obviously, as you know, with most relationships, it's, some people are very naive. Um, it's only certain occasion where you might get a, a relationship that goes really fast. It, it, it's kind of a rebound relationship that the nine months relationship was almost kind of a rebound relationship in a sense and the feeling that you get from the beginning of a relationship is called a honeymoon period and as you know the honeymoon period is when everyone's feeling good everyone's feeling or you know your boundaries are down you're missing all the red flags and stuff you know this person is the one but you know when I know what happens later on because when you play that game you're not being yourself people think you can go into any relationship by putting a mask there's only so many times you can put on a mask and the true self comes out okay so bear in mind I know this girl very very well I know her character and I've seen the relationship that she's had and I've seen how she behaves so that relationship ended about a week and a half ago so she left one relationship she got into another one nine months later this one's broken up and i'm there talking to her so how you feel she said oh i've kind of i was i was kind of healing already i'm back on um dating app Guys, she was back on a dating app a week after the breakup. And bearing in mind, this is the guy she said was the one, the love of her life. Okay? Which is crazy, right? So you break up from that, and then within a week, you're jumping onto another rebound relationship. Now the saddest thing for me, this girl is a decent girl, but there's something not right. And when I spoke about people on this channel about healing, trauma, many people, loads of people always claiming they've done the work, they've healed, they're not what's causing the problem. Now bear in mind, if you've been in a relationship that hasn't worked, a long term relationship that hasn't worked, and you seem to think the other person was to blame 
already that's a red flag because you're you're not taking responsibility from your side so instead of looking at it from that point of view and working on it you're thinking no i'm not i wasn't a problem they were the problem so i'm just going to jump on in another relationship and it's going to work numb the pain so obviously rebound relationship is about numbing the pain the pain that you feel from every single relationship because for you to be able to just kind of dismiss dismiss the feelings that you had for the previous person is is crazy you know to some people it might be okay but it's crazy it's not healing it's basically putting a bandage on on a wound yeah and not working on the problems that you had so she went from that long-term relationship she went and then got into the nine month relationship and obviously the nine month relationship ends and she's on a dating app within a week guys it's crazy it is crazy how some of these people don't understand the whole point of healing i get it it's painful but you jumping into another relationship i, I just find it really weird that your soul is able to just go from one person to another sleeping with and the funny thing about it, when we was talking, she said something about after all that, after many failed relationships, bear in mind she's got she had two day um baby daddies already. So she's got three kids, one from a previous partner, and another one from the long term the, the, the twelve years relationship or thirteen years. And then she's got this guy. And then this guy breaks up with her. Well, they break up. She's on a dating app. Guys, that is. Please, someone tell me. You guys tell me. I, 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 I don't understand it. In this life, and I've said it many times, you've got to have values. You've got to have standards. You've got to look at yourself and think you know what what is my soul worth because if you're going from that 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 you're selling your soul you're becoming like a used car that can't be right i understand it some people do it because they can't deal with the pain but there is other ways you can deal with the pain you know to the shock of my system she turned around and said you know what i've given up on marriages and future I'm just gonna sleep around in hope I find the right person and if I don't I'm just gonna enjoy the honeymoon period of every relationship if they behave a certain way I'm just gonna leave so this is a girl that went from being an innocent woman to now being this prolific data guys i don't understand it but all i can say ladies and gents whenever you're going through breakups as painful as it is just know if you're on the receiving end the person broke up with you do not take it personal that this person is going around jumping to quick relationships just to numb the pain that's on m that's on them that means there's something emotionally not right with that person i don't care how they want to do it there's something not right so first and foremost you don't blame them you don't blame yourself if you did something wrong that's fine take the initiative you work on what you did wrong and if you are the person that's been dumped and you feel like the pain is too much the answer to the pain is by jumping on an, um, uh, in another relationship on a dating app and just mask everything pour plus on the wound and sleep with as many men as possible guys come on come on know your worth know your worth because that 
pain might go away for a little while because you've had a little, you know. But believe you me, you're just building it up to be a storm that's going to leave you soulless and it's going to leave you even more broken. If you are already broken, you're going to be, be even more broken. Sleeping around doesn't bring value, doesn't cure the pain long term. You lose your value, like you become like a used car, and the attraction goes because I can tell you something. It's not it's not about judging people, the body counts and whatever else. But if a guy or a woman knows that all you do is sleep around and if they get in a relationship with you, they know when time gets tough, you're quickly monkey branching. You go into another relationship because you're addicted to that good uh, feel good factor of honeymoon period. That is so destroying guys. You know, it's really, 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 really sad for me to see. And I'm not even judging the person, but I've lost a better respect for them. You know, if, if, if you as a woman don't have respect for yourself, how do you expect to find someone who's going to respect you? If you don't value yourself, if you don't value who you are, if you think it's okay, if you have children, if your education to your children is to showcase them, to showcase to them that this is how relationship are like, this is how you deal with breakups. This is what love is about. This is what the, this is the impact I was talking about in the previous uh, video about generation. Your actions will impact the generations to come, and your kids are watching it. And a potential husband, wife may come in, but even that won't last because you are doing the damages. And that is toxic. Guys, I don't know how you guys feel about rebound relationship, but for me, as a man, sex is not everything. I don't even understand how maybe someone can explain comments. Um, people can just physically and emotionally, your body, you share it with as many people as possible. How is it? I feel sick. How how you can give yourself that easy to as many people is so destroying. It really is, and that, that's not me judging. That's just me saying if you are someone that's looking for true love, and that's not how you you do it. Heartbreak, and that's not how you heal. Work on your trauma. Work on the problems. You must save yourself many heartbreaks in the future if you work on it you have a better chance you might even get the love that you had before back if it was amicable it was a decent breakup you both gone out your way and truly worked on each other anything is possible this thing about people don't change it is possible but do not get drowned in in pain an emotion that you feel like you have to go sleep around straight after breaking up with someone be true to yourself love yourself value yourself much love time to grow take care guys please make sure you like and subscribe and follow the journey um i know it's, it's kind of weird because this channel is about growth and a lot of the times i'm getting questions about um, relationships and it's great that I can share my thoughts on conversation I have with people friends and family and my own experience I'm not a guru I'm not a coach I'm just a guy <laughs> and it's time to grow 
Much love, guys. Take care.